Hey guys, Humans for Targets here, and uh, due to the <laughs> very overwhelming response that I've gotten from my video talking about when I've lost 130 pounds, um, I'll put a link to that original video in the sidebar, um, I decided to find some more pictures. Um, I had many requests and personal messages uh, for people to learn more and to see more pictures. Um, as I went through this transition, you know, of starting the training and fighting and uh, all of that stuff. So um, I actually found some other pictures that I had, and I like these pictures a little bit better. And uh, because I've ha I have a before and after um, that you can see that um, exactly what I looked like before I started the training. Okay, so here we go. Okay, when I first bought the punching bag, this is before I started any training, okay? Um, I decided I was going to uh, be a boxer, start boxing, but like you guys know, I couldn't find a place to box, so I ended up taking Taekwondo and Muay Thai kickboxing. But when I first bought this guy is when I, the first thing I did when I decided I wanted to start training. So there you can see me. very portly fellow of course at 320 pounds and after that six months later that's what uh, that's what this guy turned into That was probably eh, right around the sixth or seventh month mark. I don't know. Somewhere right in there, though. I felt a, light lo <laughs> a lot lighter um, when, <laughs> when I got to that point than when I was there. <laughs> it was like I was a whole different person. You know, six months changing from this to this. I'd go look in the mirror, and I wouldn't. E it wouldn't even seem like it was me. It would shock me when I'd look in the mirror. Yeah. So yeah, I thinned out okay. <laughs> um, there's an just another picture. Like I said, guys, this was five years ago, and maybe even a little bit less than five years ago concrete heads in the background uh, uh, this was at my dad's house and he used to make these out of con out of uh, regular concrete he's a brick and block layer and he used to use extra concrete and make those heads <laughs> Get some more shots here of me uh, hitting Bob the punching bag <laughs> that uh, this punching bag really felt real uh, when you would hit this compared uh, to hitting a person in real life this was very lifelike I like these next two pictures here is the start of the punch okay that's the start. And <laughs> there's the finish. Knockout blow. <laughs> I really like these two pictures. <laughs> so yeah, um, I've had a ton of people tell me that they've gotten motivated and I'm so glad to hear that. Um, like I said, I want to get back into this training. I really do. And uh, I, if this helps other people, then that's just a bonus. It really is. 
Um, to, I, I really didn't think this was going to inspire anyone, but I've been getting tons of personal messages and comments. Um, there's been people that, that sent me messages and told me that they went to the gym today and started working out, and I just put this video up uh, late last night. So let me know what you guys think. You know, uh, what I may do is start training, and I'm going to video the whole way, all the way of me getting back down into shape and show you guys everything along the way and do, you know, do uh, quite a few updates and just let you see, let you see uh, what it's like, you know, to, to change like that. It's just something I've been wanting to do here lately. Uh, you know, I got away from the stuff and, uh, you know, started to put the weight back on and uh, got out of the training. And, you know, that's what happened. If I would have kept training, exercising, I would have stayed like this. You know? So. It's quite a difference you can do. If you want to, you can do it. I mean, you figure when you're starting, you starting at 320 at this weight, you know, it almost feels like where you begin. And then you see in six months, if you really set your goals right, you can, you can do this. So, hope this helps you guys out. And if you're thinking about doing any training, um, go ahead and start. You're, it's never too late. I don't care if you weigh 700 pounds. You could sit in a chair in your house at 700 pounds, and I could tell you things you could do sitting in your chair that you would start to lose weight up until the point you could get outside and walk. I don't. It doesn't matter. You could weigh 800 pounds. It just there's really no limit, and there's um, it's never too late. You can do it. All right, everyone. This is Humans for Targets, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. And once I start getting into this, um, I'll start telling you guys about food to eat, what to drink. Um, it's not easy. There is, okay, one thing I have to tell people. There is no magic trick to it. Everybody always asks me, they want to know, what did you do? You know, what can I do? They, they, think there's some, they think there's something that I found to do that just makes this happen. And it's not that way. It takes work. It takes dedication. It takes... A whole mindset you gotta I ate s drank and slept this feeling right here to get this way I mean it was it was pretty much everything um, there's no easy way you're not gonna be able to eat everything that you want to eat you can eat the right foods and you can be filled up but there is no secret I'm telling you there's really no secret my secret is uh, eat the right foods and do the right exercise and like I said in videos and more videos down the line here, I'm going to start telling you guys, um, you know, the best way that I feel to go about doing this. And uh, I'll get those videos up because I've just had so much interest in the in this video um, about me losing 130 pounds. So, all right, guys, this is Humans for Targets, and I'm getting ready to go down to the park right now. I'm taking Goro, and uh, I'll be heavy breathing through two miles of walking. And uh, not like this when I was running five miles. But, uh, <laughs> all right, guys, this is Humans for Targets. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, send them over. I'll be happy to answer. And I'm out.